Hello everyone, my name is Fadi Atallah and I'm a business development manager at Deep Sea Electronics. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to our DSE 8920 7 inch color screen, low chair, and synchronizing control module. In this video, I will be showing you a number of design, hardware, and software features of the product. The DSE 8920 is the latest addition to the DSE 8000 series load share and synchronizing control platform. Sitting at the top of the range, the product features a sunlight readable 7 inch color display with an 800 by 480 pixel resolution. The display utilizes optically bonded technology to eliminate the air gap between the two parts of the LCD. This provides a wide viewing angle and prevents condensation forming inside the glass, maintaining clarity for the operator. The controller is designed to operate in a wide ambient temperature range between minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius. Every DSE 8920 controller is shipped with a sealing gasket. This should be fitted when placing the product into your panel to achieve an IP65 rating. Moving on, we have the front panel buttons, along with the stop, start, and the five key menu navigation buttons. The user interface is extremely user friendly and mirrors the navigation of the other products in our range. Navigating the display pages is simple. This is done by browsing through the pages with the menu keys to represent the different module parameters. By using buttons to the side of the display, we can change the mode from stop into auto or to manual and then start the engine. On the rear of the DSE 8920, we can see the connection terminals and the different communication ports. To help you with wiring and fault diagnosis, all terminals and ports have been clearly labeled. We have also included the product specifications on the back of the unit. This product is also UL and CE approved. Starting from the right hand side of the module, we have the power supply terminals and the six configurable digital outputs. On this side, we also have the 12 configurable digital inputs, the CT connections, the bus and gen sensing terminals, and the two volt free relay outputs C and D. At the bottom, we have the four analog sensor inputs and the magnetic pickup terminals. There is also the expansion port so we can have additional inputs and outputs or annunciation LEDs. We then have the two volt free outputs for fuel and crank, the D plus excitation or WL terminal on some charge alternators, and the emergency stop. The DSC 8920 has built in AVR and governor outputs. These have a range of minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts for controlling any type of AVR or governor when synchronizing and load sharing. We will now take a look at the communication ports on the module. Here we have the canvas port for connecting to other CAN devices or HMIs, the ECU port for communication with the engine control unit or ECM, and this also supports for tier four stage five engines, and the multi-set communication port or MSC, for connecting multiple DSE load chair controllers together for synchronizing and load sharing. On the left hand side, we have the Ethernet port for Modbus TCP communications to connect to SCADA, PMS, or a remote monitoring system such as the DSE WebNet. We also have the USB port for connecting to a PC and configuring the unit using the DSE configuration suite software. There is also a USB host port which can be used for data logging onto an external USB drive. Next, there are the two RS-485 ports for Modbus RTU. These can be used to connect to a third-party SCADA, BMS, or also to the DSE WebNet for remote monitoring and control. The DSE 8920 is designed for genset to genset synchronizing, or to synchronize a single genset with the main supply. At boot up, with a simple key press, the user can decide to use the module as a DSE 8910 auto start load chair unit 
or as a DSC 8920 auto mains failure load share unit. This delivers additional flexibility and also allows the user to stock a single part for use in a variety of applications. The DSC8920 supports both isochronous and droop modes for kilowatt and kVAR sharing. The module also offers an internal PLC logic, which gives advanced flexibility for monitoring and controlling different accessories and assets on site. The DSC8920 is powerful, user-friendly, and easy to operate. With the ability to add additional language files, the product is perfect for use across the globe. For further information on the DSC8920 and for training documentation on synchronizing and load sharing, please visit our website www.deepseaelectronics.com. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.